Hello all, welcome and welcome back, oh wait, hello all, there we go, welcome and welcome back to Illuminate the Oracle, happy to have you as always, um, I thank you for all y'all do around here, thank you for your comments and your likes and your subscribes, thank you for your shares, your donations and your super thanks, um, I appreciate it, you know, I'm here for enjoyment, y'all here for enjoyment, so let's, you know, have some enjoyment together, um, I'm gonna jump into the prayers we do, woo! Father God, Mother Divine, Archangel Michael, please cover me and my collective as we receive these messages today. We only seek messages of the highest vibration, messages that you do for us to receive. Any ill will, evil I need you sent our way kindly, block or turn energy back to where it belongs, bind up tight in their own song so they never harm anyone again. In Jesus' name, amen. I shall, I shall, okay. All right, so I think this is going to be a collective love reading for all signs. Um, these are general readings, so only take resonates, leave behind anything else for anyone else. If this isn't where you belong, then find where you belong. No hard feelings. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, ooh. <laughs> All right, so where we at? Nervous. There's a nervousness in the energy. You can probably feel this if, you, if this is your reading at all. <laughs> um, there's like a little anxiousness. It could be an excitement, it could be an anxiety, but there is a nervousness, okay? It could be you, it could be the person in your mind. Spirit says to think positive about this, though, and laugh often. This this sticker, you can barely see this, but it says laugh often. You also have some eyeballs popping up here. So I feel like you're being watched or observed, whether you realize this or not, by someone that's trying their hardest to remain positive about something that... What's covered up here? A mouth. Okay, so we got some eyes, we got some nose. We got a mouth here, but it's covered up with laugh often. So someone could be watching you and scoping you out, trying to remain positive about no contact or about something that they're not speaking or communicating because someone's nervous. We'll look into that, clarify. What is this reading about Holy Spirit as pertains to the collective and the person on their mind? Please and thank you. What is this reading about today? Please and thank you. We have Uranus. Uranus, Uranus. Okay. Um, Aquarius could be significant here or at all. It's just the energy of um, expect the unexpected. Something could be popping out of nowhere. Uranus is also the energy of um, surprise. Okay. It's also the energy of unusual you know there's something unusual here as it pertains to this connection or about this person or about you okay so what is this reading about I saw something about crabs in a barrel um so that could be significant <laughs> Cancer could be significant. I'm also feeling like maybe this connection had to deal with group thought or group thinking when it comes to that crabs in the barrel syndrome. Block. So something was blocked. Okay, so we'll look, to th we'll look into that. Yeah, here it goes again. Beware of crabs in a barrel mind. They'll take you down. So we'll clarify that. Then we have Lover for Life by Whitney Houston. Someone wants to get locked down. Someone wants to lock you down. Someone's realizing that um, angel blessed and covered. Oh, yeah. Someone could be feeling like you're their angel. Um, I also feel like um, I could be talking. This could be a connection, of uh, earth angel connection. Whatever this is, this is a connection that is guided by the angels. It's a blessed connection. Oh, yeah. It's covered. We got an evil eye up here, so it's definitely protected. It could be protected by these crabs in a barrel. These came up together. Okay, somebody wants to be your lover for life, Whitney Houston. Um, and when I find myself needing some lifting up, uh, one thought of you, and that always is enough. Um, so take me, I'm your prisoner, 
Would you sentence me to be your lover for life? Your lover for life. So we're talking about something that someone, someone wants to get committed to you. Maybe it took some time for someone to realize this, that they want to be locked down with you. They want to be locked down. Okay, so let's clarify with angel numbers, which I insisted to do yesterday, but they just flew away. And so they're here today. <laughs> so we'll take a look. First, I want to clarify nervous. What's this nervousness about? As it pertains to the collective or the person that the collective has heavily on their mind or the person that has the collective heavily on, on their mind, we got... One five one five. Y'all could be seeing one five one five right now. This card says the big break. So someone's nervous about a big break. Ooh, we have um to say innovation, focus, creation, progress, forward movement, skills and goals. So someone's nervous about some forward movement here. An opportunity, help, or extra cash or support is coming your way. So keep going and have fun perform while performing your task. So this is like an excitement. At the bottom of the deck, we have limitless potential. All right. Reset. Relaxation. Unknown. Surrender. Right here, we got finish line. Success. And I got the victory. Yeah. You know? All right, so something is um something is limitless. Some there's a big break coming in. I feel like there's a um a reset on a connection because because of y'all, right? Because of this is your person, you and your person, whoever I'm connecting to, remain persistent through these changes, through a no contact through you know it's almost the energy if someone feels like <laughs> if someone feels like you're theirs and they're yours that's kind of what they've held on to in this persistence oh we got oh happy days an empire opportunity related to your life's purpose is just around the corner and yesterday's reading <laughs> That song came up, Pocahontas, just around the river band, you know? So, you know, I let things resonate with who they resonate with, darling. <laughs> Sometimes people just kind of pretend like they in um, counterpart situations when they're just there for the party. That's cool, too. Um, but it all comes out in the wash. And as time goes by, moves along, people find where they belong. And so I let them. Sometimes you just kind of, uh, you know? <laughs> I got a soul reading that's coming out. It's going to be dropping tomorrow morning, right after I film this. I'll be filming that. But it's something about this energy of um, things have changed. <laughs> and folks, you know, are kind of split off right now. Because they've been split off right now. <laughs> but maybe people are starting to awaken to that in their own time. I feel like there have been people that have been kind of like playing around. Like they've been like... Uh, so evolved in their spiritual development <laughs> keep in mind when it comes to like psychic readings this is spiritual work darling and so people who are like oh where's my person i want a person to come back to me and it's just like it this is this is spiritual work we, we're, we're, we're having a good time here well i have a good time here i don't know what y'all doing out there but i have a good time doing this because this is um my soul's task and skills that i get to practice um, and so, yeah, you know, Uranus, yo, um, we'll look into that. We'll see what is the shocker here. I feel like, you know, um, what is that, that expression? Um, I don't know, something about the, something about the wheels on the pavement or something. I don't know, child. Um, why am I hearing the wheels on the bus go round and round, darling? This is Earth School, okay? So, you know, let's see. <laughs> what is this Uranus about as it pertains to the collective? What is the collective to know as it pertains to this Uranus energy, okay? Something unexpected. Perseverance came right back out again. So, yeah, this is due to someone's effort and work. 
someone's spiritual development, Uranus, something is coming through unexpectedly. Y'all could be seeing seven, 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 seven. That, seven, that many sevens feel like jackpot, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a change of perspective or someone's perspective is changing due to a jackpot, due to some sort of win, due to some sort of reflection or after reflection. Someone depending on their inner strength and wisdom to get them through. Y'all could have uh, undergone some sort of spiritual, uh, a new, fresh spiritual enlightenment or elevation, say in the last, you know, weeks or days even. Clarify block for the collective. I feel like whatever seemed blocked before, there's like a door opening here due to someone's efforts. Due to someone's ability to, let's see, take initiative. One, two, two, one, change, optimism, joy, communication, messages, good news. All right, so I feel like something was blocked off. Someone, you know, someone's initiative was blocked off. But I feel like, you know, this is, you know. One, two, three, something, good luck, something is happening. <laughs> um, one, two, three, the devil's after me. Three, four, five, da, 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 da. There's like, that's like an old nursery rhyme. Um, hallelujah, 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 amen. Um, I got that from like the movie Crooklyn, it's by, it was, uh, 90s Spike Lee movie. Um, something could be significant about the 70s. Something could be significant about Brooklyn or New York City. Um, you're getting a message. There's a message here. It says it all here on the card. <laughs> you know, after a period of block, someone's going to take the initiative. This is going to be uh, a change, okay? If this person hasn't been speaking, but I feel like whatever it is, going to give. it's going to bring optimism, joy. Um, this communication is going to bring good news. Someone's going to be able to express themselves. And it's going to be high vibe, darling. All right. I feel like something is protected and covered. Yeah. As soon as I said protected and covered. Great blessings. Now we got 666. Six, six. Everything is lining up here. We got 777. Seven, seven. Now we got 6666. Six, six, six. Okay. We also have 0000. zero, zero, zero. So this is feeling very new. This card says self-love, boundaries. Okay, so that's where it started. Okay. So maybe something had to get blocked off for someone to learn, for, for both uh, counterparts to learn self-love. Because you can't love nobody. You know, you can only love someone as, as best you can. Um, if they haven't completed the course of self-love. And that's why I say, like, people can say they love you all day, but if it's not the brand and love that fits you, we all have to figure out what brand of love fits us. It's almost just like, you know, going to the store, there's all these different type of milks, okay? People can say, get you a milk, okay? And you, you're not going to just go and grab a milk. You're probably going to grab the milk that speaks to you, okay? You may have uh, a milk that you specifically require for your own dietary needs, that's the same thing when it comes to love, okay? Not every love fits every individual, okay? You're going to have to find a love that fits your needs, okay? But people don't always... People have a, a multitude of, of um, reasons why they just, uh, as to what they decide on and why they decide it, okay? And so... Um, I feel like there's a blessing coming in for someone that laid a certain set of boundaries. Maybe there was a, someone that was used to things being a certain way as it pertained to connections. And an earth angel said, nah, son. This could be, this doesn't even have to be romantic. This could be like connection, people, places, and things. Okay. Ooh. All right. So, ooh, wait, what do we got here? There could be a lot that someone needs to, feel like they need to say to you because. Uh, about like a quarter of my deck fell out. <laughs> Here we go. Just one, please. Zero, six, zero, six. Commitment. So there is something someone wants to say to you, darlings. <laughs> someone wants a commitment. And yeah, 
lover for life. That popped up already in this reading. Okay. Someone wants to show you that they can be loyal. That they wanna they wanna show loyalty to you. They feel like if if there if it was a question, this person feels responsible for you. They feel like responsible for this connection. Um, that could be a part of. Oh yeah, there's also truth there. So that's the truth. Someone has to clarify or let you know that they feel a responsibility to this connection, a responsibility to you because they love you. We got love, light, spiritual realm, growth, and solutions. So this is definitely, and it's clarifying, this angel, blessed and covered, this is a spiritual connection. This is also talking about a commitment. This is also talking about loyalty, darling. This is also talking about love um, and truth. This is uh, cards of the spiritual realm. Okay, so this also lets me know that the spiritual connection is getting ready to land, but you know, you have to go through cycles first karma, warning, judgment, influence, power cycles. I feel like y'all are coming to an end of a cycle, and what happens at the end of a cycle? Something brand new, straightforward to you, darling. Zero, two, two, zero. This says, act on your idea, okay? Realistic and practical approach, divine timing, ambition, cooperation, and discipline. So someone's getting ready to act on their ideas. This landed on crabs in a barrel syndrome, so I feel like something's gonna come through. Some sort of opportunity to you. Spirit is saying, act on your idea, or when it comes to our ideas, we have to keep them safe and protected like a newborn baby, darling. So not just anybody can be around your newborn baby, you know, when it comes to like the things that newborn babies can even be receptive of or take in is it should be very specific, you know, in theory. I never understood people that like to have the whole family and gang of folks just like, you know, spreading their energy around a newborn. You know, I think it takes time. Things take time uh, to strengthen, right? And so I feel like the same thing as it pertains to um, this action or whatever opportunity is coming forward to you, do not allow any crabs in a barrel to muddy your thinking or influence you adversely when it comes to something that you already have visualized or seen to be true, right? Because it says they'll take you down if you allow someone to drive for you okay because y'all walking into a, a period of good times if you so choose two four two four this card also talks about ooh, these good times is about leisure rest holiday holiday um just one day out of life it would be it would be so nice if we took the holiday madonna Somebody wants to celebrate with you. They want to take the holiday and celebrate with you. Yeah, this card also says love, affection, kindness, and happiness. This card, the top line of this card, you can't make this shit up. Oh, some people may th <laughs> think I do, but shit. Uh, the first line of this card says, you are worthy of affection, leisure, and pleasure. You are deserving of that. All right, let's go ahead and get the uh, tarot. You know. What's that? Because I need you, <laughs> and I want you, and now I wonder if I could fall into the sky. Do you think time would pass me by? Because you know I won't go a thousand miles if I could just hold you tonight. You got somebody spinning around. You got them going in circles. Round and around they go. Oh, they caught up over you. What a weird song mashup. Vanessa Carlton with a, um, a, a old R&B classic. Uh, I'm caught up over you. Got me going in circles. Burr, burr, burr. Oh, that's a combination there. Ooh, yeah, because something is happening here. <laughs> Carol Ann, judgment. What's coming back to life? Something's being renewed here. 
for a queen of cups. Um, <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces can be significant. But this is love on the mind. Somebody has expressed love to you. Um, this is someone that sees you as the mother, okay? For them, the mother, the, they want to be... This is someone that sees you as their family. This, um, You could already have a family with this person or a child with this person. They see you as the mother of their child, whether you have a child or not. It's just, whether it's not, they just see, they feel this very um, sensitive, kindness, compassionate nature. There's, they, they love your nature. There's something very specific about you that, um, whoa, 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 she's a lady. I'm talking about she's a lady. Mm, mm, mm. In the lady's mind, or oh, somebody's wishing that somebody that a lady is theirs, okay? Um, with this judgment here, y'all could have known this person from uh, a, a, a moment in time. Somebody could even seem dead. Something's brand new. Something could have seemed dead, but something's brand new. And it's a whole new world. It's a new beginning. Y'all could be doing something brand new. Yeah, some of y'all could be doing something creative with the devil card. Of course, the devil can be bad. It can be toxic. It can symbolize addictions. It can symbolize um, negative things. But it always depends on the energies around it. This is someone that's obsessed with you, okay? I thought like this person desires you a lot. They want to have a new beginning with you. There could have been something hurtful in the mix here as it pertains to this connection. And it could have been something dealing with um, someone being in and out with the Two of Pentacles. Or they could have just... Um, there needed to be... I think it's just the connection itself. There's a new passionate beginning for a connection that didn't they uh, something wasn't balanced enough to even come into play. And so that could have broke someone's heart in the past. Yeah, it could have even been distance. But a chapter's closed out here. Um, something is starting anew. It's a surprise for you, Seven of Cups. Um, with the World card, someone could definitely be very different from you. Um, I also feel like someone is traveling with that World card. Someone could travel for work, or someone could have to travel to see you. One on one, as I'm recording this. Um, yeah, but this, yeah, the World signifies definitely a, a, a completion here. I feel like the completion is someone withholding from you. That cycle's closed out. So that could be a shock, okay? That could be a shock that someone that once was very withholding with their emotions, all of a sudden is like, Phew. okay? This would involve someone um, leaving behind something or some things in order to pursue a wish fulfillment, something new, okay? Something that speaks to you, your heart and your soul, darling. Maybe this person had to leave some cups behind in order to pursue their true soul's heart calling, okay? Or when this person comes to you, they may want to see if, if you, if you, if you coming, okay? There's a, um, well, this hang, man, there's a pause here that is on purpose, okay? Universal timing. There's something that needs to be realized here during this pause that's going to create a sense of freedom or a withdrawal of some kind. Um, you can see prophecy in this uh, hangman energy. Um, so maybe there's something that, um, yeah, 
Somebody needs to be sacrificed in order to move forward. Okay? Queen of Swords. I feel like someone's life is changing. But in order for someone's life to change, something needs to be cut away. Okay? Clarify for the collective. Okay? And it could be this crabs in a barrel syndrome. This is what we're clarifying next. Okay? Yeah. It could be something involving family. I see the Ten of Cups. Clarify what the collective needs to cut away in order to bring the love their way, the love they're calling for their way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> King of Pentacles. Um, and Two of Wands. I feel like the King of Pentacles is what's coming your way. This is someone that wants a contract with you. Someone else to invest with, invest in you. The King of Pentacles talks about something financial. Um, if it's business, it could be some sort of idea that what is acting your idea? Something you've been waiting for or waiting on with the divine timing. Something you'd have to travel for, and so I feel like it's it's something you have to travel for. Or something that's traveling to you, but I feel like it's something you would have to commit to with the hair font. Like a contract, right? Um Yeah. This King of Pentacles wants to invest in you because they feel like um this King of Pentacles could be a hair font. They could be they could have uh resources. Um uh, yeah, King of Pentacles is obviously um someone that's very resourceful. They can have multiple businesses. This is definitely big boss energy, darling. I feel like um, they could also be associated with some sort of um, they could be associated, darling, in some sort of groups, right? Um, that could change your world, okay? thing is like uh whatever that's coming through here spirit doesn't want the your well, this crowd's in a barrel some of y'all could be in situations that are a little toxic or a little um low vibrational in the sense where i feel like this king of pentacles wants to present something where you would be able to where you need to change your situation or to change your situation where you can have your world in your hands Yeah, this is someone that you're probably not currently talking to or that you are currently in reflection or no contact with, but this is someone of your past or someone that you're very familiar with the Six of Cups, whether they're of your past or, or past life or both. Um, this is someone that, <laughs> the Six of Cups is like, oh, ugh, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of nostalgic energy too. A lot of them missing, missing you. Uh, I feel like y'all missing this person too. There's a lot of longing energy, too. Um, Scorpio could be significant. There's definitely be someone that you're having, you're not seeing eye to eye with right now, or there could be some sort of miscommunication between you two. There could be some sort of conflict, okay? Um, but I feel like whatever that was, it allowed someone a lot of time to reflect. And this person is hoping that you've reflected too. <laughs> Someone is also hoping that you put your sword up once they approach you. Okay. Um, something that someone manifested or this person manifesting you, they're coming through with inspired action with the magician. Okay. Yeah. Because they want to celebrate with you. I also feel like with the, I see the page of wands. So this could be something new. They're doing something new, coming forward to you and expressing, um, I don't know, some sort of good news that they want to celebrate with the Four of Wands. Uh, it could be a home <laughs> that they want to celebrate with you. Uh, it could be an engagement, a baby shower. It could be damn near anything. It could be some sort of event they want to invite you to as well. Maybe not. they're not certain if you'd go. Um, the Death card. But there's a transformation happening here. More Scorpio energy. Yeah. 
transformation is offer that's very very um it's as it's as dependable as it gets it's as good as it gets i feel like this um collaboration that's coming in could have taken a while it could have taken years okay with the pinnacle and knight of pentacles it's the slowest night there is um something could have taken years but once it rolls through it's as good as it gets and something is as passion is passionate and fiery too um This is a whole new beginning. This is someone that wants to put an end or, or uh, finally face something here. And look there. Something that seemed like it was dead and gone or over is like speeding up. With the Eight of uh, Wands is that energy of like, you looking at the, at, at the sky and it seems regular, it seems normal, there's nothing there, you know, it's just, it's just the sky, doing the sky business thing, okay, but out of nowhere, you're not gonna see it until you see it, is the wands energy, it's like, we didn't start the fire, it was always burning, you know, a fire could, it was, it was always burning with this person, but I feel like, um, just to run the rubber band, <sighs> something, that may not have seemed clear before is about to get real clear because someone could get even a little like a little aggressive you know it's like someone is gonna make something clear to you now they could have been dancing around it playing around it dragging their feet about it because you know maybe this king just needs to see what they felt they needed to see okay so let's get some advice for the collective. You want it. You got it. Hey, baby. But bust a move. That's what I'm hearing. So someone's feeling like they need to bust a move. But I feel like you're going to get what you want from this person. Because that's the, part, that's the lyric in the song. You want it. You got it. Dive deep. I feel like this is the connection that y'all had to deep dive on, okay? This is your person, then no one can tell you differently. Um, there's nothing to say, right? It's like... Um, There's been a spiritual acceleration between this connection. I feel like even when it's this diving deep, the way this mermaid is sitting, it's like an expectation. Like she's expecting something. Like y'all, y'all know what's coming here. Like this, it's no point even playing silly, okay? Some of y'all could have had a connection to Atlantis, you and your person. We're definitely talking about heavy spiritual connections of people reawakening to themselves, okay? So it's not gonna be for everybody. And <laughs> perfectly fine with that. We're all in different timetables. Some of us different dimensions, child. Different vibrations, okay? But, you know, if you want it, you got it. Look at here. There's a truth coming. And it's a pure truth. I feel like you and your person did the work on your guys' self. And so there is, like, this innocence about y'all. I feel like y'all both been also holding each other, holding yourselves back. So there is, like, this innocence energy. Um... Y'all both could be practicing celibacy. So there really is like uh, a resurgence of oneself here, of who one is is really. And it's felt both sides. And so someone feels like, yeah, this truth is it's time. It's time for a truth here. All right, spirit is gifting you. It's gifting someone here for their patience. But with that purple here, it's like someone that has observed or practiced patience is someone that is royal. Okay? <laughs> so, so no one had to tell you to be patient. It's just like, it's just in your makeup to do so because with that purple here, someone's really connected and in tune with the spiritual crew. Okay? Sounds like an illuminator. Sounds like uh, <laughs> an aura 
call, darling, an illuminator. Okay. And this is keeps popping up again. Something's brand new. I feel like something is at factory mode. You could be at a factory mode setting. You could feel like you could barely recognize yourself or who you are today. Um, I feel like someone's person also feeling that way too. Woo! For somebody, today is the day. It is time to begin the journey. Okay. <laughs> And look, we have a rainbow here in this in this uh, illustration, and so that signifies the end of a storm, or the end of a, a battle, or the end of something, darling. And it's God's promise of a new day. Paul Abdul, promise of a new day, promise. And we have uh, the butterfly here, so there's been a transformation here. We also have a giraffe that could be significant to someone. A giraffe. A giraffe makes you feel like y'all have maybe had to take taken like the high road or have had to had um one two three as I'm recording this a higher level of way of perceiving this connection with the giraffe you have had to have a higher yeah because in the background we have a, a lightning there it's like thunder lightning the way you love me is frightening. This person had to knock, knock, knock on wood to see if something was real. That's probably what took some time, too. Someone needs to make sure something was real before they took a leap. But with this lightning here, it's like someone's gotten the revelation that they needed. Lightning signifies aha moments. And then we got the rainbow. So it's like this, everything happened in its proper timing. The way it was supposed to happen, okay? It is what it is, all right? Someone's coming in to be someone's lover for life, okay? This person says they had a lot of dark secrets that they had to face, okay? But here, this is two of cups. This is someone that, that's crazy about you, and this would be someone that you're crazy about, okay? This is this connection is felt equally between two. Something's about to get real, real sweet, okay? Because this attraction is unlike anything else, okay? It's Pat Benatar. We belong, we belong, we belong together. Um, and so, whoever that belongs to is what that belongs to. That's the uh, <laughs> that's the update, you know. That's all we got for today. What does person want to say real quick? And that's where we'll end it. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Ooh. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Spoiler alert, they haven't let you go. It's a spiritual connection, you know. I feel you leaving me behind. Ah, you can't let this person go either because once again, it's a spiritual connection. Of course, we can agree or decide not to pursue or, or uh, reject the other, right? Um, but, you know, it is what it is. We have free will in this earth plane. The person says, I'm afraid to contact you. So this person is, they're nervous, darling. <laughs> but you speak to them through music. So I feel like this is just someone that is building up the esteem. But they're hoping that when they do, that you'll take a leap with them without being influenced by anyone. Um, maybe this person was once upon a time influenced by someone. Um, but I feel like if they were once upon a time influenced by some sort of organization or establishment, I feel like this is someone that is, they got their whole world in their hands, okay? Um, and this is someone that's going to pursue. Show my collective um, this person's next move as pertains to the collective. That's where we'll end it. This person's next movement forward. What can the collective expect from this person? Next movement forward, please and thank you. Ooh. Ooh. There's a release, acceptance. 
Three of Swords in the reverse. Clarify this Devil card here. Ooh. After the Devil card is the Six of Pentacles, which signifies windfall of something financial. Um, a blessing. It signifies a blessing. And that's coming after the, the Devil card. Clarify Devil card. Yeah, it's an offer. The Devil card can symbolize earthly plane as well it could also signify something financial significantly financial and you know this is a clarifying the ace of pentacles is clarifying the devil card so somebody is getting <laughs> physical physical okay um a spiritual connection is getting physical you can see that from the devil card as well as the ace of pentacles the spiritual connection is becoming physical it's getting physical okay Judgment said so. That's what this is. A spiritual connection is forming itself in the physical. Physical. It's coming back to life with a judgment there. Something is, is, is clarification. And that's my phone. So someone's getting ready to get a, a message <laughs> of something, darling. Y'all ready for this? Dun 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 dun. Until next time, mwah, mwah, mwah. I love y'all. Take care of yourselves. Don't let nobody fill you up with fear, darling. Let them hold theirs, okay? Because y'all manifesting, so you can't allow people's, um, you can't allow the crabs to, because the crabs are sensing here that someone's getting ready to leave the pot before it starts to bump. And so sometimes if people can sense, if a, if a crab can sense that you get ready to leave the pot before it starts to ball, they'll try to clamp you on down so you can't go nowhere, darling. So shh, at this point in time, allow people to be where they are and just, you know, ease on down the road wherever you decide to go, sis, because you the whiz here, okay? Until next time, <laughs> it is what it is, as always. Yeah.